Alright, hey again, um, I got a request today, uh, if I could make a video showing how to put platinum on your R4 and how to update your R4 to, uh, kernel 1.18, so I'm gonna do that now, and, um, so I hope this helps, so first of all, well first you wanna get your micro SD card, into your computer one sec okay so first of all to download platinum you want to go to Uh, nds-roms.com er, yeah, www.nds-sign right there dash so minus sign roms.com then over here on the sidebar click on download roms and then you'll see this thing here click on uh, nintendo ds roms dash lays 100 roms click on that and it, you might just see a white screen for a while, but anyways, if it pops up, then you're going to want to scroll down, and it's number, um, whoops, oh, you always get a pop-up on that site, too. Uh, it's number 2,600, uh, or 2,000-something 2, 41, um, yeah, but it's 2,641 number right there. Pokemon Platinum, parentheses, j.zip. Click on it. And then it'll go to this. And then just right there, uh, you'll, get your own, you'll get a code thing right there. Three digits. Just type that in and click download file now. And then what I do, so mine says... 696 six. click download file now and then I don't know if it does this for any of you else but if you have like orbit or whatever you'll get this but if you click if you see it when it says save it as it says download file dot php I X that out and then this comes up and then that's why I always save the ROMs on this site but I'm not going to do it now because I already have it but once you saved it It'll, you know, be a WinRAR file or whatever. Open it up, and you will should see a, a, the, a file called, like, some, it's, it'll be something like Pokemon Platinum, something or other. Uh, and it'll be a .nds file. Uh, when your micro SD card's in, uh, you'll have a folder. And I always have a folder called NDS ROMs on mine. I click it. And then you just drag and drop it onto there, like that. And then the save file will be the exact same when you save it. And then, um, to, now, a lot of you had trouble uh, when you put, load up Pokemon Platinum. Uh, it will, like you get a blue screen in Japanese or whatever. Uh, you need to have, well, if you're using R4, you need to have the kernel 1.18, that's the newest. Uh, I guess if you're using our flash cart, you need to have like the newest one. And so for the R4 to download it, uh, uh, so open a new window, go to www.r4ds.com. Um, Okay, my computer's not connecting to that site for some weird reason. Anyways, you're gonna wanna go there. Okay, here we go. Once you're here, uh, right in fact, right here on the main on the main page, right down here, you'll see in the kind of in the bottom left, you'll see R4DS update, and you'll see R4 v 1.18 kernel 
2008-04-24 and there's like a little new symbol next to it you're gonna want to click that and it'll open up in our window um and then you know and then you're gonna want to click english kernel well if you if you're english so you can click korean or french and you know just download it and once you have it um there should be like a folder and there'll be like a few things in it. There'll be like one thing called DS menu, DS, M, S, H, L, uh, a few other things. There's going to be a thing called a folder called system. Now all those things you're going to want to drag and drop them onto here, onto here, into your micro SD card. And it should, uh, and that should be all you need. Um, and then of course, all these other folders I have are my personal stuff. Uh, NDS Homebrew, NDS Backup, all this stuff. And then, but if you already had um, other uh, skins, themes, uh, like I have them in System and then Themes, and I have like Themes 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, etc. Uh, if when you drag and drop the new uh, System folder, It'll delete those, I'm pretty sure. So you're going to want to, you know, like, just copy those themes, the theme folder, and put it down, you know, on your desktop. And then as soon as it's done, uh, putting the new kernel in, put the themes folder back in system so you have your uh, skins again. And then um, once you do that, you can just take your micro SD out. Put it in your R4. Put it in your DS. And then turn on. Whoops. And they will know if you did correctly, because in the bottom right corner on the touch screen, or bottom left, sorry, it says V1.18 if you did it. And then, so you can just click on games, go into your games folder, mine is NDS ROMs, go down, Pokemon Platinum. Loads up. Perfectly. So, you know, that's it. Loads up fine. I don't know what's happening here now. Um, I'm getting this screen. It's different from your guys' screen, I'm guessing. Uh, but anyway, there's my save file. I don't know, I think it's like... Like one of the original game cartridges. If it gets wet, or whatever. When you turn on, it says... The internal battery has run dry, time-based events will no longer happen or something. I don't know what happened to mine. Nothing happened to it. I just put... I, I load my file into the computer right now uh, to do something with it. I don't know what happened, but anyways, you guys don't even know about that. But uh, I hope that was helpful. Uh, comment, and if you would like a better one, I could delete this video and add a new one. Uh, if you want me to be a little, a little more specific or if I went through it too fast or whatever, please tell me. Uh, I hope you enjoy and I hope this helps. Bye.